Hi everyone, it's me Lina again. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And thank you a lot for checking my videos out. And today in this video, I would like to share you some of my favorite books. And actually, I need to say that those are my currently favorite books. And I'll be honest with you, I haven't been reading any new books in a while. Yeah, I don't want to, you know, to make it sound better than it is. So I'll be honest with you. And I've been rereading some of my favorite books that I have, like physically. Actually, they are books. So yeah, I would like to show you those my favorite ones and also in the end perhaps or after that I'm gonna perhaps list you my favorite writers in general that I like and that um, you know of well, uh, works of uh, which I actually read and enjoyed so yeah so I'll start probably with this book it is called look like the leader you are by Lizzie Edwards I really like this uh, book because it helped me to reorganize my wardrobe nicely and so on and also it definitely saved me even like so much money because I actually learned to buy clothes wisely and perhaps think more of uh, things that are gonna be base of my wardrobe rather than buy things that I can't mix and you know just um, sort of uh, decide what to wear with so definitely i think that it is very helpful and something that you know inspired me in a good way and like uh, taught me so many little tricks i would say so many things that are actually vital for <laughs> having a beautiful and uh, comfy i would say wardrobe well uh, outfits in your wardrobe browser so i definitely like it so much and also i need to say that it also have so many tips on how to perhaps get rid of certain you know outfits you know fashion uh, items that you don't wear anymore or that don't fit you well i don't do it very often so i still sort of can't you know sometimes do it often enough but i think there is still a progress i already did some sort of you know rearranging and uh, let's say clearing I suppose of my wardrobe mean like I already got rid of certain scenes but yeah it's still difficult for me to get rid of certain scenes that uh, or items let's say you know that don't fit me well anymore or that just you know I don't wear so much but yeah I think that it's very helpful first of all book Another one is also about, let's say, fashion or fashion related book and it is interesting. I really think it's uh, sort of perhaps, you know, odd or it doesn't look as good because maybe you expect me to have, you know, favorite books that are perhaps much more deep, you know. You know, let's put it this way, but... I want to be honest and lately those are things that I read about and so on so why not well not all of them are about fashion don't worry you're gonna see but yeah I just wanted to show you what I really enjoy and what you know makes my mood let's say you know well makes my mood bad I suppose so there is another book fashion that changed the world and I really enjoyed not only reading this book but also you know sort of like going through those pages because there are so many beautiful pictures illustrations and i would say pictures that i actually were made you know from different like um catwalks and so on or pictures of famous people that definitely influenced fashion you know through many years and yeah i think that those pictures are incredibly interesting too and nicely you know i would say fit in this book so also there are lots of facts about fashion and lots of historical actual facts and i find it very you know nice also there are things that i never knew about i'm gonna mention it like this it is about coco chanel and to be fair, i didn't know certain scenes and i'm glad that there is some sort of uh, truth because well it actually uh, brought in this book as some scenes that they are not certain about but that people were sort of like talking about some sort of gossips but i think there should be truth in it 
I was surprised and it definitely made me look slightly different perhaps on certain scenes let's say but I'm glad that I found out I think it is important to you know to say the truth to include it in books like this even about fashion I think it is important I really don't want to say what I mean because if you like you can check it out yourself you know I don't want to you know to just get out of this fashion topic since we are talking about this book but I definitely want to show you some beautiful pictures let me find those that I really like a lot so I can perhaps show you like for example this one is beautiful but also there are so many more that are absolutely beautiful some of uh, the photos even like fashion photos they were quite uh, scandalous too I find it interesting and I also think that it is important to include that sort of things so people would know and also I uh, think that even the negative things should be told about and yeah not excluded from this bright picture from this sort of fun picture about you know fashion let's say anyways I like this one a lot I wanted to show you and actually maybe I'm not sure I can find all those that I really really liked so I don't want to take so much time so maybe I should have made sort of like little you know um, certain how to say or I'll go like oh this one is absolutely amazing in my opinion wanted to show you so yeah I really like this book and also there is a next one and it's also related to fashion more like you know how to draw how to draw like a fashion designer and actually here are the names of authors I want you to see. Yeah, I actually made a review on this book and actually on those two previous books too. They are presents from my boyfriend and to be fair it's a bit interesting but all of those books I'm gonna mention right now are presents from my boyfriend. It's just that I suppose he knows me so well now, he knows exactly what I like and what I like to read about, what I like to educate myself about so i think it's pretty cool don't worry i'm gonna still mention some you know writers that i find interesting and yeah what say well educative i suppose in some way maybe not educative rather i don't want to say smart because it's definitely not the word i want to use but yeah you're gonna see or well you're gonna hear i suppose <laughs> so this book actually you know was given to me probably because I actually have this sort of um, idea I mean I really like fashion and I think that I have lots of ideas on like uh, outfits and so on but I was really bad in drawing I think it's getting better but I'm still totally bad in it if I'm honest so I do some progress obviously but haven't been uh, doing I don't have time really I didn't have time lately to do you know sketches or anything like that but definitely it still taught me little at least base or basis on how to do it and I'm really you know I really appreciate this book so it definitely teach you you see there are things that it uh, sort of gives you idea on how to do sketches and croquis and different advice of uh, actually tips perhaps suggestions from famous uh, designers that have been having um, successful careers in uh, fashion industry I would say and they are very talented in my opinion there are so many interesting scenes in it and I really enjoyed reading and educating myself on it learning actually you know how to draw because I never was good in it and I think at least a bit I got better still you know I need to probably spend more time doing it actually so next book is by Agatha Christie Agatha's Christie's uh, the ABC Mothers here it is and actually I started to reread it slightly but also don't laugh I started to uh, practice my uh, voice acting you know using this book maybe it sounds a bit bizarre 
but it helps me a lot and I can read perhaps I can try different voices or I can sort of deepen my voice sometimes I probably can't do many voices actually but I can try and I'm learning how to pronounce difficult words difficult as for me as person who's English you know well you know what I mean <laughs> so yeah I really like this one in particular but I'm in general a big fan of uh, Agatha Christie's works I also have books where there are not like novels but rather short uh, stories and I mean I have so many books now most of them are presents from my boyfriend some of them were presents from my parents and they are quite old some of them are in Ukrainian and Russian actually because you know back then when I was a kid it would be sometimes easier to find book uh, in Russian than in Ukrainian which yeah well it is what it is I suppose I mean yeah and well I really like this one you definitely should check it out if you like detectives if you like you know interesting and I would say entertaining stories but maybe something related to mystery or perhaps even crimes I definitely enjoy this uh, well I enjoy reading about uh, Hercule Poirot the character so I think he's a great detective you know and he definitely also has his own charm so it's not just his deductive uh, skills that you can read about in the books Agatha Christie's uh, books I mean so yeah anyways there is another one the last one I'm gonna mention today because there would be, I would spend so much time mentioning other books to be fair. A cat, oh well, actually, cat among the pigeons. See, I sometimes use, uh, you know, it's not a cat, it's cat among the pigeons by Agatha Christie again. Also, Hercule Poirot is in it, let's say. So basically, he's solving uh, the crimes, as I remember. Yeah. I think that this one is quite. Uh, well, there is charm in this, um, in general, storyline of this uh, book, I would say, yeah, so I think many people would like it and enjoy it. I also enjoy sort of those little detail details about, you know, um, description of uh, characters, other characters. I think it is uh, like uh, the scene that Agatha Christie is popular also like about not only that uh, she was writing uh, detectives but also she's very good in describing people their appearances even so those scenes I really enjoy actually so yeah well I do enjoy this book and definitely it's uh, one of my favorite currently but also as I said I'm gonna mention well I'm gonna give you like a list of uh, writers that influenced me in certain way and also I want to mention this so I think it is not that you know you shouldn't expect from the book or story novel anything that you're gonna like what author thinks I don't think that it is important that you agree with their opinion but I think that it is important that they make you think and realize something perhaps maybe to give you or to help you to create your own opinion on certain situations that have been described in the book or brought to you in that book so in my opinion it doesn't matter if you actually agree sometimes with the author or writer I really wanted to tell you this because I think it is important so yeah among my favorite uh, writers are George Orwell also um, Orwell actually I think it is correct I'm not sure why I said it in that way also I really like uh, Edgar Allan Poe Fyodor Dostoevsky actually I've been reading a long time ago but it still definitely has influence on me and actually who else do I really like actually I really like Victor Hugo and also I've been reading it ages ago but um, the scene is it's not only that I read it with like school material when they gave us uh, the list of books that um, we need to read but I also read his other, I think shorter other stories because not just like a big novel it was also some other stuff 
of his that I read not related to school program and definitely the way he writes it's usually I know this sad sort of stories but well for me well this is what I you know saw in it but yeah I really like the type of um, you know style I suppose I'm thinking if I wanted to mention someone else but I suppose <laughs> right now those uh, writers that I really wanted to perhaps list to you so well let me know if you like videos like this one because I definitely like to talk about books you can tell this video wasn't supposed to be that long it is whatever it is I suppose and perhaps you have some sort of questions to ask I'll be glad to answer them as soon as possible don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel give this video thumbs up and I'll see you soon